I am the head striking coach at uh, Power MMA for all the pro UFC fighters. I met Anna about 10 years ago. Uh, she came into my karate school with her parents and uh, wanted to take karate. Anna was, was actually one of my best students. Um, she had a, a unique quality about her that um, most, most students don't have. She just has a, a natural drive and uh, a natural determination to want to be the best, to do the best that she can all the time. Uh, Anna's the type of person that you ask her to do something, she'll do it over and over and over and over, nonstop until she gets it done, right? Until you tell her to stop. So there's times where I had to make her stop because she, it wasn't perfect in her eyes. Not everybody does that. Not everybody has that in them. She was, we used to call her the little Terminator, right? Because she was just, she would just blast through stuff and have no expression on her face and just get it done. You couldn't tell if, if she was tired, if she was beat down, if she was happy. It, you couldn't tell. She was just there to do a job and she got it done. Well, I teach several different styles um, and uh, Anna got uh, her black belt in Taekwondo as well as Hapkido. Um, they're both Korean styles. And then this red belt uh, is a championship belt from a different, uh, a state championship belt from a different organization where she went in and fought, did forms, did all that kind of stuff and, and won over a course of a year. Took first place often enough that she won a national, a state championship with that. But, um, the black belts, just so you know, it's not something I give away. Uh, there are plenty of schools out there that are belt mills. You pay them a certain amount of money and they'll give you a belt, whether you earn or not. That's not what I do. Uh, what I do is, is, is much, much more difficult. Um, it's, it takes a special type of person to do it and complete it. And the test itself um, is... It's rough. It's a 12 hour long test. But the drive and determination and, and the stick to itiveness that it takes in order just to even get that far is something that 1% of the population out there has. And she has it in spades. Um, so when she took that black belt test, where most people were just dying at the end of that black belt test, and some of them couldn't take anymore, some of them quit, some of them said, you know what, I'm too scared, I don't even want to do it. Anna went in there and made it look easy. Really, like literally, made it look easy. And did it, like I said, like a Terminator. Like, like it was just a job that needed to get done and she knew she needed to do it and got it done. I mean, it, it, she's, she's just always been incredible like that. When I first walked in the gym, it was intimidating at first because there's so many other students and I always want to be the best and I always strive to be the best and I, I'll push as hard as I can. Yeah. So Anna, in in the time that you were with me and, 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 and working at, uh, at your martial arts goals, what characteristics do you think that you, you derive from getting your black belt and doing all that work and, and, and reaching those goals? What did you develop? There are so many skills that I developed, but I think the three that point out the most would be the ability, the confidence, and the toughness, because I did not just walk in and just have it with me. I had earned it. I had to take steps. If there's if there's one thing I know that you are, that's tough. I mean, for sure. I mean, I, I remember when um, when you first started, when you first started sparring, and you got punched in the face, right? And I was like, stop, stop, stop. And you're like, what? And I'm like, you got hit in the face kind of hard. And you were like, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, okay, let's go. Keep going, man. So you've always been tough. Since you were a little girl, you've been tough. So yeah, without a doubt, you have developed that toughness, man. I don't know if I don't know if you developed it in my school. It, to me, you kind of always had it. It's always been there. But that's definitely a characteristic that I would I would describe you with. Yeah, absolutely. And three words that I can I could use to describe, and actually, I could use many. Um, but indomitable spirit, drive, determination, integrity. Um, stick to itiveness. I mean, I can go on and on and on. I mean, uh, what she has in her heart, I mean, again, heart, uh, what she has in her heart is not something that you see every day. It's, it's, it goes beyond the normal athlete. Guys that I train in here that are at the very top, the very top of their game here in the UFC, some of those guys don't have the stuff that Anna has. So, 
I know she's going to be good no matter where she goes, no matter what she does. Any coach that gets her is is going to be very happy that he got her. Yeah. He's really strong. Oh. He's a little taller than he was short. So you took a punch to the face and you were like, whatever, let's yeah. go. And I was like, whoa, and she's like, I didn't even feel it, let's go. <laughs>